we're looking at a way that we can add value to the plastic, the waste plastic, the real low grade stuff that we're pulling up off the foreshore. We've been speaking to a charity called Hubbub and we're going to take the plastic, form it into plas wood, so a lumber made from recycled plastic. We're then going to use a boat builder named Mark Edwards, who we're visiting today, who's going to form that into a beautiful new punt. Uh, Mark Edwards, um, a boat builder for the last 40 odd years. Today's a bit unusual in as much that we're not using wood, we're using recycled plastic. We're building a punt to go and collect floating plastic rubbish in the river. The aim of building this boat out of recycled plastic is to show that plastic has a value. It'll take children and adults out on the boat, they'll fish plastic out of the Thames, they'll see the issue for themselves, and they come off the boat really passionate um, ambassadors and advocates for the message. Once the Tideway Tunnel comes into play, lots of the sewage derived litter that's currently being flushed down the Lews will be intercepted by our tunnel and therefore won't reach the River Thames. Tideway have a very large programme supporting community activities and I know they're especially interested in supporting work that engages young people with the river. So Active Row we launched in September 2017. Mission to get 8,000 young people active across London and uh, we're already way over target so we've just finished year one, 2,750 young people. Our task is to build the Thames Tideway Tunnel but our vision is to reconnect Londoners with the River Thames and London Youth Rowing does exactly that. They engage children up and down the river to try out rowing to learn new skills and confidence. Our partnership with London Youth Rowing through Active Row allows those communities to realise what a fantastic asset we've got here in the River Thames. Today we've been taking part in a community liaison working group. Essentially that is a group of local residents and councillors and the like that have an interest in the project, want to know what we're doing and we keep them informed on a regular basis. Here at Putney Embankment Foreshore and Barn Elms is a very interested, very open group. They are pro the scheme and just want us to minimise the impact on the local community, which of course we are doing. I'm a rower by trade and that took me to the Olympics. It took me all around the world. I've seen a lot of different watercourses, but the Thames is my home. What we do underground is going to have a huge benefit. The Tidal Thames is, is a dangerous piece of water. So it's trying to influence behaviours, educate people about the dangers of the river, just to make it a safer place. Tideway as a project across the sites, uh, east, west and central, are, are very keen to ensure that communities are engaged and that we make positive steps to uh, proactively tell them what we're doing. I'm very proud of the partnerships that we're building and the energy and the synergy between those partnerships. This is a lovely project and I'm very proud to be doing it. I think for Londoners it's important to be engaging with the Thames. 